Back now at 530, just a few days before Tuesday special special election. Assemblyman Vince Fong is sitting down with Eyewitness News discussing his advancement to the November election. But he may not have to wait to find out if he'll win Kevin McCarthy's old seat. If he gets over 50 percent of the vote in this Tuesday special election, the Assemblyman will head to Congress this summer. Will Silverstein spoke with Fong today and has the story. Well, it's been a wild ride, uh, but uh, we were very successful on March 5th. So successful, Fong beat his closest opponents by around 17 and 20 points respectively, but now he faces fellow Republican and Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau in a November runoff. Normally we're used to seeing California two Democrats run against each other for offices. What does that mean? Does it change anything for you in the way that you're going to run for November? It doesn't change anything for us. Uh, our goal was uh, to be the top vote getter, um, and, to, and our message is still the same. Uh, the, the voters in, uh, of the 20th Congressional District uh, see our state and country in, in real dire straits, and they want someone that can, um, that can s strengthen and secure uh, the southern border. Uh, they want someone that can rein in uh, federal spending, get our fiscal house in order. And they want someone that, that will defend our water and energy resources. Less than a week after Boudreaux nabbed important endorsements from Kern County Sheriff Donnie Youngblood and State Senator Shannon Grove, Fong got the biggest endorsement a Republican candidate can get, former President Donald Trump. I'm proud to have the endorsement of, of, of President Donald Trump. He evaluated all the candidates um, as we went into the March 5th primary, and he endorsed us. And, you know, we have the support from, from, from the National Border Patrol Council. The Border Patrol Council endorsement is a big one for Fong, who recently took a trip to the southern border. What I saw on the border cannot be described. It is a scary, scary uh, environment, and we need to do everything we can to support the Border Patrol. First and foremost, let's secure the border. We don't need pathways to amnesty, and that's unfortunately uh, a lot of the policies that some of my opponents um, support. We need to secure the border first and take everything in a step-by-step -step process. Would you have impeached uh, Secretary Mayorkas as well? Absolutely. I mean, what, he, what is happening right now, he's... He's not doing the job, and in fact, I, I, if I were him, I'd probably just ask him to step down. While Fong remains the favorite amongst election analysts, the looming lawsuit to remove Fong from running in this race still remains overhead. Boudreaux has yet to hit Fong hard on the suit, but the assemblyman is ready for whatever's next. So far, it seems like your Republican opponent's been pretty civil on this issue. Are you prepared if that uh, changes? Uh, you know, we'll be prepared for anything. Uh, in, 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 you know, a lot of things happen in politics, but at the end of the day, when, when we talk about uh, elections, right, it, the voters get the right to choose. To watch the full interview with Fong as well as other candidates, you can head to our app and website, bakersfieldnow.com.